Hey guys, let's t start off with fluids and Houdini. And this time we're going to talk about a simple fluid collision. How to make your fluid collide with something in Houdini. It's real simple. There's several hundred ways to do this in Houdini. This is just one. And we're just going to use real simple fluid demonstration here to, to, to demonstrate this. So I've got a sphere laid out here you can see. So what I'm going to do is go to my liquid tab and hit particle from right here. Okay, I'm going to select that. Then it's going to ask me down here in my little blue box to pick the geometry I want. So I'm going to select this, select the sphere, hit return, and that will turn my sphere into got some liquid around it there. And if I play it, now I have a pretty good little machine here. This Mac really is a beast. Yours might not cook this fast when it comes to fluids. If not, it's just something you have to deal with because 3D is amazingly in, in, intensive. Okay. So there we go. We got our just our liquid falling straight down there. So now let's give it something to interact with. Let's give it a box. Now I'm going to scale this box up by using the size right up here. I'm going to make it 5.5, 5, 5.5, and 5.5. There. Okay. Now let's go into our box object by double clicking it and we'll see we have a box here. So now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna delete some of this. We're gonna select this side, shift click the top and the other side, hit the delete node, and that will take get rid of those walls, as you can see. As you can see, we got rid of the floor too. We don't wanna do that, so let's go back and select them again. And now, as you can see there, that stuck a blast node in here, which deleted all these walls. We go back to object level. Now you can see what we got. But when I hit play, this liquid will just fall straight through this. It won't interact with it. So let's go to our rigid body shelf and turn this into a static object. So I'm going to hit static object, select my geometry, and hit return. That turns it into a static object. And when I push play, we're still not going to have an interaction. Okay, That's just going to make that stick in place. It's just going to fall straight through there. Okay, So we need to kind of extrude this a little bit so we can get it to work off of volume. So I'm going to go into my box object again and in between my blast node and my DOP import I'm going to click in here and type poly extrude. And that will insert poly extrude right in between there. Now I can go in here and extrude this like so. Make sure you go into your options and select output back, and that will fill it in. Okay, now we have this little room here. Let's go back to our object level. Now you can see we have these three walls. So let's go into our auto dot network. And you can see here we have our box object, our static box object. Let's go in there and deselect display geometry. Okay, let's go to our collisions tab. You can see we got use volume based collision detection. That's why we extruded it to give it some volume. I'm going to select show collision guide geometry. And boom, there we go. Now we have our collision. So let's go back into our box object and make sure everything is taken care of. Keep points shared under our poly extrude tab local. We want to make that use normals. Okay. Let's go back out. Now we have our auto dot network here, as you can see. When I push play, it's going to fall down here. And it should collide with our geometry. And boom, there we go. I'm just going to let it cook here. So you guys can maybe get about a roundabout idea of how long it should be taken or how long it takes on my machine compared to yours. As you can see, we're definitely having a collision now. Okay, and where we used where we um, went from to uh, use normals, remember I told you we just switched that from nothing to use normals. When I selected use normals, that's what filled in these little spaces here. If you notice, before we done that, we had those little gaps the water would fall out of, but we used normals, and um, 
it took care of that. So let me stop this. That's about 35 frames. That's pretty good. Now, as you can see, it goes down and it's going to have a impact. We can take a render, a quick render screenshot here. You can see we have our water splashing here. Okay, and this is just real fast. Um, here's one that I've done with a texture. Let's see if I can find it here. As you can see, it comes down and splashes. Boom. And I got a smaller version too, a 640 version. You can see it splashes. And that's what we created in just a few minutes. That's how you get your liquid to collide with an object. And remember, that's just one way, people. There's a mazillion different ways to do everything in Houdini. So um, I hope you've learned something. I really do. If you have any questions, get a hold of me, and I'd be more than happy to answer them if I could. Um, I'm not a Houdini master, but I'm hoping I can help you guys along the way with a, with a few things if you need it. So I hope you've learned something, and we'll see you next time.